So today we're talking about how our faith changes throughout our life. And I think I'm the perfect example of that because my faith has changed a lot throughout my long 16 years. <laughs> when I was growing up, I was taught to what to believe, but I wasn't always 100% clear. So as I was saying, I wasn't always 100% clear on what I was being taught. So the reason I say this is because at a young age, I was taught that you could pray to God and you could talk to Him for guidance. However, whenever I would pray, I would often find that the things that I would pray for wouldn't come true. When I was young, I didn't understand this, but later I would come to find this is actually the best thing for me. A song that I've recently come to understand by Garth Brooks quotes, Some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers. This song makes so much sense to me now, because if half of the things that I prayed for came true, I'd be in a totally different boat right now. <laughs> Although God doesn't answer all of your prayers, He is always watching and has a path for you. And every once in a while, the things you pray for actually happen. I know this from experience. Because a few months ago, I went through a tough time. But God helped me by putting the Martins and the O'Briens into my life. I realize now that even though it might not always seem like God has your best interests in mind, He always does. And that whenever you need Him, you can look to Him for guidance. This is how my faith has changed. Because now I understand that you can pray to God and He will always give you guidance. Thank you. My name is Alyssa, and I'm a member of the senior high youth group with Kelly. Uh, good morning. Um, I was asked to share this morning on how my faith has changed, but having struggled on this topic, I went to my youth director, Kelly, for some help. After some discussing, we came up with the question of whether or not it is okay for a person's faith to change. I told myself that I would answer that this morning to you all. As I pondered it, I thought that it is 100% okay for someone's faith to change. Because if we didn't, some of us would still be thinking that Jesus is a long-haired type of guy, but maybe now we think that he's the short hair, you know. <laughs> New look. <laughs> or that if we do one bad thing, we aren't going, and that we aren't going to heaven. But come to find out, God is a very caring, forgiving, and loving to all. And he will most definitely see past something bad that has happened to you and that you've done, as long as yourself, you yourself can move on and ask for help and guidance. All right, now that I have explained it in church terms, it can also be thought of in other ways too. For example, faith can change just like the scientists and explorers are, are always changing their minds and methods and hypotheses. 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 Um, after all, we did at one point in time think that the world is, a flat, is flat, and if you go too far, you will just fall off. But that thought changed. It was proven wrong, and then a new thought came in, which is the world is actually round. Whoa. Thank goodness, too, because I personally couldn't handle falling off the earth. But just like the people who changed their views on the world when it was discovered differently, your faith can also change. Your faith is not and won't ever be set in stone. So go ahead, let new ideas and thoughts come. Your faith is never ending, like the shape of the world, a circle, continuous. It is, how, it is not how we used to think it was, a flat, unchangeable course. I'm not telling you to just go out and change your mind and change your views and ideas, because I don't want you to take that from this, as I'm forcing you to change something. I'm saying that if it does happen, that it's okay, and it's wonderful too. Don't be afraid to let new things float into your mind, in your brain, because you might just come out with something great. Thank you.